hi this is your friend with the city agent mimos valmy welcome back to my youtube channel it's so good to be back i was away for a few months now i'm back i'm looking forward to continue the journey with you don't forget to like this video subscribe down below and click the bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video as you know every month I give you updates on how the real estate industry is doing, the real estate market is doing in the city of Brockton. So I cover Brockton. Like I said, if you have any other town or city you're interested in to get an update in, feel free to send me a comment and I will be happy to give you some update. In today's video, I will give you update for the city of Brockton for the month of July. So I will give you updates on how many homes that sold, how many homes that's, you know, under contract, and how many homes that's actually active for my people that's still out there looking for a home. Because, you know, buying a home, it's the American dream. You start building wealth. So for the month of July, so we have 63, a single family that was active for the month of July. The month start with 62, 63 single family that was active. We had seven condominium that was active. We also had 41 multifamily that was active. So if you were qualifying to buy a single family home, so you had seven, you could have just take a look at it and you know see if you like them. If you were somebody that's looking for a single family home. You are 63, you can check them out, see what they lack, what they look like, the inside or the outside. And then if you were somebody that say, you know what, living with other people, I don't mind sharing my mortgage with somebody else, have somebody else to help me pay for my mortgage. So I'm looking to buy a multifamily home. So there was 41 that was available for the month of July. So, you know, the second step after the active, when somebody take a look at the home, they like it the interest in on it for the next step which is the actives the contingency step so the first one was active so the next step is the contingency stage so meaning i show you a home you interest and you like it and i write an offer for you and then the offer get accepted the next step is contingency that's mean you have seven days to do ins home inspection you have seven days grace period you have sent seven days if you want to change your mind if you don't want to continue with the transaction you have seven days to do that so that's main you can see the home is contingency or city g main for the single family home we had 25 that was con uh, city g that was contingency we had only three condominium that was city g we had three multi-family home that was city g that's for the home that's for the month of you know july so the next step is pending or under contract both of them mean same thing some agent like to put a sign that's a pending some agent like to put a sign that say under contract but meaning both of them is same say the same thing so for the city of Brockton, we had 65 condominium that was 65 single family home that was and the contract that get to end the contract 65 we had six condominium that was in the contract and we had 17 multi-family home that was under contract so you can see there's a difference because you know sometimes when the home is under contract some of them take two months some of them take three months some of them take four months some of them take even more it depends on what the bank is asking the potential buyer, the potential clients, how fast they're willing to give them. Let's say if they said they work two jobs, so how fast they're willing to provide the document, how fast they're willing to do the verification, how fast they're willing to do stuff. That's why sometimes if the house on the contract this month, it probably doesn't close this month and then the closing happen the following month. And sometimes people do travel, they have all the stuff that going on in their personal life, they do ask for extension. So that's why you might see we start with less house, less house that's actually under contract. Then we had that was active. So those usually from some of them is from the previous previous months. So the next step, the last step, it's the sole step. 
So the sole step is one you actually done. The bank check you. You said you have two jobs. They verify your two jobs. You say you're making forty thousand dollars a year. So they verify your forty thousand dollars a year. You do have a job. They call the employer. Your employer call them back. They say yes, your job is secure. And the bank say you know what? I let I can trust this person with this four hundred thousand dollars. So let me approve them for the loan. That's when you go to the closing table. That's when you get your key. That's when you become a homeowner. Welcome to the American dream. So for the month of July, all together from the preview months, the deal that they closed from the preview months end up closing in July. For the month of July, we had 63 new single family homeowner. We have 60, 63 people that was looking for a home. They find a home, they in love with the home and they get to the closing table. They finally get the key to their dream home. So we had 63 all together. So we had for the condominium, we had a night condominium because you know some people, you know, they might say, you know what, I don't want to clean outside, I don't need a big yard, I don't need stuff, I just myself, I just want to go to work, come back home, and then meditate in condominium. So for the month of July, we had a night condominium that was actually sold. So and then some people they like the company of renting someone else to become a landlord, they want to do business. So instead of they buy themselves a condominium or they buy themselves a single family home, so they buy themselves a multi-family home, like a two-family, like a duplex, a three-family, or like a fourplex, or like a, a, a fifth, a, a five unit too. So basically, we had 13 new homeowners that closed on their multi-family home. So altogether, for the people that was looking between the single family home, the condominium the the multi-family home the single family this you know condominium and the multi-family home so all together we have 85 new homeowner in the town of Wacton for the city of July for the month of July we had 85 new homeowner 85 person that's get the key to their home 85 person that's become a new homeowner that can say you know what I own a home now I own something so all my money that I'm paying on rental, now I can say that I'm saving. Because when you buy a home, it's you're saving money when you buy a home. So when you buy a home, so when you pay your mortgage every month, it's like you put that money in the bank. But when you rent in a home, so it seems like you waste that money. It's like you have an ocean, you throw the work at it, you're never going to fill it up. That's when you rent it. So that's why my goal is for each and every one of you that's watching this video, share it with your friends. So it's your goal is to buy your own home. If you don't want to buy a multifamily home, you don't want to deal with tenants, you don't want to deal with other people, so you can get yourself, you know, a single family home. So if you're not qualified to get yourself a single family home, you just by yourself, you're not married, you have no kids, it's just you, you can get yourself a, a, a condominium. So basically, there's different type of homes. So it will be shown of this video. So a recap, so basically for the month of July, we had... 63 single family home that was sold we had nine condominium we have 13 multi-family home when you add all of them together for the month of july 2022 we had 85 new homeowner 85 person that can be just like you that watching this video so because being a home being a homeowner is a nice feeling you get the key to the home so after the closing the attorney take your hand and say congratulations congratulations your hard work pay of course all of us we are working anyways so all of us are going to work so we have children somehow someday we have like a friend like a cousin somebody that we, that's looking up to us it's up to us to show them the way so become a homeowner it's a great feeling so if you're interested to know exactly how you can become a homeowner, if you just have the feeling, you just want to know how the process is, is, so reach out to me. I will be happy to help you. And click the bell to get notified anytime I post a new video. See you in the next video.